Hey, it's Barry, PJ's Projects. Uh, got a, an Easter project that my wife and I have been doing for the last couple of years. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the empty tomb uh, design. Uh, it's not an original design. We we saw this online, uh, but we put our own little, little spin on it to make it a little bit unique. I want to spin you around here and show you. All right. So I got a, a batch of them here completed. Uh, this lot right here, I think there's eight of them. Yeah, there's eight of them here. Um, we make them all in, in various sizes. Um, kind of use a lot of scrap wood, uh, so to speak. And I don't throw, like, even the smaller one here. Um, let's see, compared to my hand. I mean, it, it's only, it's only, the, the, the main part of it's only three or four inches tall. Um, then you got the cross on top. So it's a smaller, it's a smaller, uh, open tomb or empty tomb, uh, design. Um, but the point I was getting after is even the smaller, um, wood pieces, scrap pieces I have left over from other projects. I rarely throw them away. Creates quite a bit of clutter and a mess down here. There is not an easy way. Well, I'm sure there is. I just have not implemented it yet. And the shop, our shop is uh, very busy, so to speak. It's a very busy shop. It stays um, stays disorganized. But the point being is you can use all those scrap pieces to make nice pieces here. Now, th this one here is a little bit unique. I'm going to kind of point it in on the side. I think you can tell here uh, from the camera. This was the... and. and and I'll point this out here in a minute. This was uh, a piece of walnut that was on the edge. So it was kind of rounded over. This had a little bit of bark on it at first. I didn't think it would work out, but now like it, it has that contour, has that shape. It uh, gives it a, a, another dimension to it. I actually am I'm, I'm more of a fan of this here at the top kind of kind of coming in than I am some of the other ones that are that I just sort of round off and do that with. Um, I, I think I'll use more end pieces on these projects. I, I like it quite a bit. It looks great. Um, now all of these here were a mixture. Every one of these are a mixture of cherry and walnut. This is all lumber that I have uh, sawed up um, on our sawmill. I've dried. Uh, this is all scrap material that we have used. Um, this here, the crosses, the first one or two I made of these, I did not, I, I took just a, um, you know, there's a smaller one here. I took just a, a, a regular piece of stock that was squared, okay? Um, and I put that together as the cross. And when I did that at first, I was happy with it, but I kept thinking, I was like the old, uh, old rugged cross. I, I just kept thinking it didn't look quite right. So this, I said that we put a spin on these. Uh, we use contrasting wood. I'm going to put it down here so it's a little bit easier to see. We got walnut, cherry, walnut, and then the cross is cherry. So the way we've been doing all these is that the cross is the same color or the same material as the middle section here. Uh, so you get some contrast. And I try to always make it with some contrast. Um, even I've used it out of oak, um, some ash. I've, I've even done some hickory. I try to always make sure there's some contrast in these. Uh, I I'd say by far the, the cherry and walnut look is my favorite. Keep in mind these, I just got done putting together. I just got done assembling them. They do not have the clear coat protecting on them yet. Um, my wife just puts on a conditioner on them actually yeah it's just a conditioner she only puts a conditioner on these but boy it really makes the uh the grain really pop brings out the natural tones to the to the uh, wood it's beautiful when it's when it's completely done these are these are kind of bland right now they look nice as is but when you put the conditioner on them it really makes them pop the way we do this is we just take scrap pieces put them together i put the the stone you know the stone uh the rock here on the front i always offset it a little bit 
but I glue and then on the back I have to work from this direction out from here I take some 18 gauge brad nails and I glue it and then brad nail it to this one and then I glue this one to here and brad nail it you can see some of the brad nails in there there's not very many I don't put a lot in the glue will hold it primarily once the glue dries and then the same thing here I glue in a couple brad nails the only place I don't do that method is on the cross on the cross I put a little dab of super glue on their CA glue to uh, to keep the crosses uh, to be able to make them quicker uh, it holds pretty well um, I don't even use the activator for the CA glue if I did that would be even better uh, it'd be a quicker bond but um, that's our Easter empty tomb um, little little figurines uh, we've sold a number of these over the last couple of years They've been one of the requested items I've made, uh, my wife and I have made, that uh, people keep asking about. And I, I really like them. The, the nice thing about them is there's not a, there's no two identical. Um, they may be similar, but they are not identical. Uh, this is not batched out on a CNC machine. Um, this is all done by hand. We use our scroll saw. Uh, I wish I used my band saw, but it's not working right now. We use the scroll saw and just to kind of take our time with it and make whatever design we, we want to make. Um, stay tuned for more. We'll have more projects to come. Thank you for watching.